Primary steelmaking in Wales and in the UK indeed will be destroyed once and forever by the decision of the UK Government to enable Tata to shut down the blast furnaces in Port Talbot. The end of primary steelmaking on these islands, we will be the first developed country in the world to stop producing its own raw steel. The implications are seismic for Wales and for the UK. In respect of national security, our defence sector will be exposed to the geopolitical perils of imported steel, as will our car industry and other sectors. The hoped for manufacturing using UK steel for our latent offshore wind industry in Wales will be undermined before it even begins. The thousands of direct jobs in Port Talbot, hundreds of which are in the Bridge End area, plus the supply chain across the region and indeed the UK will be calamitous and the ripple effects through the local and regional economy will be felt for generations again. But electric car and recycled steel is a vitally important part of decarbonised steel future. Of course it is. We should be investing in this. But to turn out the lights on primary steel making at the same time when other countries are maintaining their investments and the best are indeed seeking to decarbonise primary steel making, well, this is unforgivable. We have been presented with a false choice by the Conservative Government. It's electric arc or nothing. The Conservative Government is now shutting the doors entirely on primary steel, steel making, and that's the hard reality. There's no romantic words about the steel industry will make up for that. There is a political choice being made by the Conservative UK Government, his UK Conservative Government at this very moment. We have been given 500 million in exchange for losing thousands of jobs. Be grateful for small mercies, we are told. Accept the pain once again, but there is a different and a better way forward. Should this UK or a different UK government choose it, there's a different political choice. The choice is to invest also in green primary steel making. It's put forward in the alternative multi-union plan supported by the steel unions, Community Unite and the GMB. And this would secure the future of Port Albert steel making, protect production capacity and the future of all the downstream plants, which have to be mentioned as well, and avoid any compulsory redundancies. The company has acknowledged it, propo it proposes a credible alternative strategy for steel decarbonisation, but it needs a UK government to step up with a backing for this plan. A UK government who believes in the necessity of primary steel making as a matter of sovereign security as well as economic importance. A government who believes in and invests in active industrial strategy. So I say to Tata, as David, my colleague, said, pause, because there is another plan on the table. The steel workers will not surrender so easily our sovereign steel. And there is another government around the corner. Wait. Sit down with the unions. Sit down with the Labour Party. Plan for a better future and a just transition for Port Talbot and for Welsh and for British steel. Let's not export our jobs or our carbon emissions overseas.